The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. So remember, this is a Jesus encountering Peter, Peter who had denied Jesus three times uh, before the crucifixion. So Jesus says to him three specific times, do you love me? And as Peter continues to say yes to that question, Jesus continues to say, then if you love me, then you need to care for my flock, tend my sheep, take care of, of the flock that I have given to you. So Jesus is very specifically connecting love for him with service to his flock, with caring for those people that God has entrusted to us. And I think that's an important reminder for us, especially as we bring this Easter season to a close this weekend and celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. One of the things that we trust and believe in is that all of us have been gifts, have been given gifts by God uh, to use for caring for his flock. All of us have been given specific gifts that we are called to use in service to God's people. And so Jesus is speaking the same things to us. If you love me, then it means you have to use those gifts to go forth and care for my people. Go forth and use your gifts to build up the kingdom here in our midst by the ways that you love others and serve those around you. Uh, it, it's a fitting way for us to remember what his resurrection was all about. Uh, he has given us the great gift of the spirit. He has given us all the gifts uh, of his love. And now we're called to go and follow him by tending to those around us. And, and so as we continue to rejoice in Christ's resurrection, rejoice in all those gifts he has shared with us, uh, let us take specifically uh, and, and intentionally live what Jesus said to Peter. Go, go forth and tend to my sheep. Follow me by caring for my flock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.